Hello everyone. I apologize I haven't been around too much lately, but, well, I'm here now. And I know I still have to release that Spirit Science video. It's taking a bit longer than I thought because my original attempts to edit it together just weren't working. So, in the meantime, I have a couple of things. One, for any of you who saw my video about the anti-vac, or sorry, the alternative medicine thing in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, um, I held up this magazine. You know what? I don't know what I was thinking, but this is obviously, sorry, obviously not Sports Illustrated. That is the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Anyway. Uh, so I've unlisted that video. I might re-upload it or edit it or something. I might just put an annotation on it, correcting it. I honestly don't know what was going through my head. Every point I made in there about the alternative medicine stuff still stands, but since I called it the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue and it's obviously not, I just can't leave it up like that. My bad. Mea culpa. Okay, second, since I'm kind of stuck for video ideas, I'm going to watch a video that my friend Angus, a.k.a. Monkey Tail 2002 sent me a couple of days ago. This video is called Proof Dinosaurs Are Still Alive and Lived With Man, Part 1 of 5. I've watched about one minute into it already. In fact, that's probably Angus pinging me on Facebook right now. Oh, look, it is. Uh, so, at some point, I'm going to start laughing. I do encourage you to watch this. It's pretty hysterical at points. And then you realize he's serious, and you're like, what? Okay. So, actually, I've got to pause right now. I'm just going to read the quote that's on the screen right now. Adolf Hitler, Darwin's himself, no, sorry, Godwin's himself on the first page. Yeah. If you tell a lie big enough, loud enough, and often enough, the people will believe it. The people are more likely to believe a big lie than a small lie. Some people are going to not like me for saying this, but <clears throat> the Old Testament, Noah's Flood, Pretty much all the stories, you know, in Genesis, all the way up Moses, yeah. Big lies. Let's hit play. Do, 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 do. Dinosaurs, anything that disproves evolution and builds foundation for the word of God will not be published. What? Okay, it's showing a live leak clip right now. I'm going to start laughing here in a second. Oh my god! Just before the 30 second mark, they show this quite obviously CG plesiosaur jumping out of the water and like it hovers in the air for a little bit before it plops down. <laughs> Sorry, gravity and physics does not work that way. <laughs> it's so obviously fake. Oh, shit. It's like blob squash. <laughs> okay, let me play again. Okay, well, it looks like some rags that are supposed to be, I guess, dinosaur skeletons. It's your first day of school, you're in kindergarten, and decide to read a book on dinosaurs. First sentence is, the first sentence starts with millions and millions of years ago. Yep. Unless you're talking about birds. And then it shows what also looks like. Uh, when you see it, you will automatically think it's fake. Yes. I still think it's fake, even when you're slowing it down. It's slowing it down and trying to show this dinosaur 
like some kind of raptor, over raptor running across a field. Sorry, still looks fake. Still looks very, very fake. And guess what? Even if there are dinosaurs alive, still doesn't disprove evolution. The next photo is approximately three foot long carcass that had reportedly washed up on the shore of Lake Erie around 1992, at which time it was found and then stuffed by taxidermist Larry Pete Peterson, who displayed it in his L&D bait and tackle shop near Cleveland, Ohio, with a little bit asterisk behind beside Cleveland, Ohio. No description available, so I don't know why there's an asterisk there. And he's showing what looks like a stuffed seal of some kind. I don't know. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen. Doesn't show it's a dinosaur either. The biggest cover-up of all is the cover-up of man's history. Even Hitler knew how to control what was in textbooks, and I've got to go back and read that. Uh, what was in textbooks? He who writes history will control the nation. Again, God winning himself. Showing a huge, what looks like a huge bat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, these are just scream Photoshop. <sighs> I follow Team Taser Bigfoot. I don't watch all their videos, but they do have a creed. If you want to show something exists, put it in a box. Dead or alive. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, more Photoshop stuff. Contrary to what some of you may believe, dinosaurs did not die off millions of years ago. That's right. Well, a lot of them did. And some of them evolved into birds. Ever taken a look at a ostrich leg lately. Have you noticed how it has kind of scales on it? Yeah. Big raptor. Evolution never happened. Uh, yes, it did. A lot, of, a lot of proof, a lot of evidence to, to back up that man has, in fact, lived with dinosaurs. We, have, we find a lot of ancient pottery. Ooh, there is a lot of cave paintings. <laughs> ancient pottery. Oh, you mean the Inca stones, where the guy actually came out and came out and said, "Yes, I fake these." Those ancient potteries, really? Cave paintings. You you mean the smudges where you know obviously things have been distorted by water? You know, our brains are pattern matching things. We see something that kind of looks like something. We think, oh, that must be something, when really it's not. And I also bet you're going to bring out the carvings on the, I think it's Indian temples that kind of look like a stegosaurus, but it's really just a hippopotamus or a pig or something, and it has these decorative plates around it that are around every single other image on that sculpture. Yeah. Proof that dinosaurs lived with man. Birds aside. Uh, ancient ponchos, stuff that has dinosaurs on it. Even the Chinese people worship a dragon. Well, some, some of them do. Uh, you the mean word big dinosaur, snakes? dinosaur was not invented until the late 1800s. Back then they were called invented. dragons. Invented. Even the Holy Scriptures, the Bible mentions dinosaurs. Uh, no, it doesn't. One mention of a dinosaur would be Bohima. Or hemoth, or something. I you mean whales or hippopotamus? There's been a cover up, a hu huge cover up. Or maybe even alligator side, think it depends the on the context. The Possibly elephants. Too. Very one, one sided. They are hell bent. Yeah. To get you to one side has the facts, religion. and the other side is made up bullshit. Atheism. Uh, the made up bullshit the side would be your side. Somebody who does not believe in God. Or Satan. No. And this is exactly what Satan oh, well. wants. 
does Evolution. not believe in God or Are Satan. Sure, we don't believe. Or... We typically don't believe in any kind of supernatural you being. Believe in God. Yeah. You don't believe in the Bible. Nope. If you don't, don't believe in the Bible, you don't believe in the end time Bible prophecies. It's... <coughs> if you don't believe in the Quran, then you don't believe in the end time prophecies. Really? If you don't believe in the in the end time prophecies, there will be less resistance. And this whole fight isn't about. Do I even really need to cover more freedom. end time prophecies? The struggle here is for the souls of mankind. Every time Satan's someone's predicted the end of the world, they've been wrong. He wants your eternal soul. Anything that will lead you away from God and lead you away from the Bible, Satan will will use it. How do you know Satan isn't actually deceiving you into believing something that's false? I do not. I do not believe we came from monkeys. I do not believe that evolution. It doesn't matter what you believe. I don't believe that. It's a fact. I do not believe that the Earth is millions, millions of years old. I do See not previous believe statement. that um, dinosaurs died off millions of years ago. In fact, again, a lot of them did. The school nerds. system is not true. Uh, Hold on, I'm going to hear that. Dinosaurs died off millions of years ago. In fact, a lot of the things that were taught in school system is not true. Uh, the school system and TV are the biggest brainwashing, mind control weapons in the history of man. And you're going to learn what the government wants you to learn. Uh, Dr. Ken Hogan, very well known. Oh, oh I, I love these people who claim government conspiracies. I bet they're also the same people who say, oh, the government can't do anything. Trying to tell me, well, evolution is true, creationism not, is false, God doesn't exist, blah, blah, blah. See, you are just a we don't claim that the God, God in general, lowercase g, doesn't exist. You grew up with TV and watching TV. You grew up believing in what you were taught in school and believing what you were taught on the TV. And you believe everything the media tells you. And you believe everything the teacher tells you. I certainly don't believe everything the media every tells me. I actually investigate claims. And that's why most of you guys aren't worth my time. Most of you guys just want to argue. Argue. <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not really talking about my subscribers. I'm talking about a lot of nutcases that I get sending me messages. <laughs> that case is coming from the guy who says dinosaurs are still alive. Other explanation for the things I talk about. This is why I always, always, this is why I always approve my comments because I don't need confusion, chaos, and division being stirred up in my uh, in my videos. I know you only I want supportive I comments. That what gotcha. Is right, and it's true, and it's real, and it's authentic. That's why I always I don't allow anybody else to comment who uh, contradicts what I have to say. <laughs> what I say is true because I say it's true. That's what you just said. It's not word for word what you just said, but that is a corollary of what you just said. You don't want to be told that anything you think is correct is wrong. That is the definition of being close-minded. Let us continue. I believe in always goes back to the Word of God. If it doesn't line up with the Bible, if it doesn't line up with the, line up with the Word of God, then I don't believe it. I'm automatically going to discount it. It says it. I believe it. Therefore, it's true. Why do you think it's true? Because it says it's true. And round and round in a circle we go. As a lie. Because the Bible warns us, warns me about people like you, snakes. Snakes in the grass, and Freemasons and Illuminatis are all over the place. <laughs> Freemasons and Illuminati. I was offered to join the Freemasons at church. The church I was going to was ran by Masons, and uh, this is a long story, I'm not going to get into that, but 
and gives all you people who, you don't even have to be a mason, you can just be a, a totally brainwashed individual who doesn't think for himself, who just wants any excuse to believe that there is no God. And that's what we live in today. We live in, in a society Do I really that need to come into any of this? Baby killing and gay loving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby kill... Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. Ew. Gay lovers are icky. Uh, I was having a similar conversation with a friend of mine on Facebook. Honestly, I'm thinking of uh, severing the ties there because it turns out we don't really have that much common anymore. I won't go into the details there. <laughs> and baby killing. Abortion. Never mind that most fertilized eggs actually don't come to term, are aborted fairly naturally. Yeah. I used to think this, I was starting to think this guy was funny in his ramblings. Now I'm not so much. God does not bless a nation like that. God will not bless America. Because look at America. What's happening to our, our country? Okay, why does it have to be a country? country? Why can't it be the entire freaking world? We live, live in this country. A, a corrupt government is a direct product of a corrupt society. A corrupt society is, deserves and will get a corrupt government. Everything that's going to happen I can't really argue was prophesied with that part. in the book of Revelation and the Holy Scriptures. And you, you people out there who deny it's God, happened there is no God, all throughout who, history. Say, Homosexuality is Why would it have, have been the fall of Rome? And who say that you guys just totally What about the countries God? that are doing perfectly you fine? Ideas. You say you say that you believe in uh and you're open minded. No. You guys are the one who's closed minded. Because you believe in some You're the one who said the Bible's not around right now. You're the one who said you don't believe it if it's not in the Bible. And you believe it's in the Bible because it says so in the Bible. You're the definition, again, of close-minded. You also said you don't allow comments that contradict your own opinions. Again, definition of closed-minded. Something so stupid, so stupid... Then you're telling me that I'm closed minded. If you opened your eyes for one second, you would see that evolution is the stupidest thing you can ever believe in. So, for all you people out there who say there is no God, you, you guys. You know, there are a okay, heck of a lot of Christians who also to say evolution happened. Every single ounce of it that you get. And but God still believe in a God. Uh, plagues, death, um. What do you call it? Uh, famines, disease, and ultimately, ultimately, you're gonna go to hell. Look. Oh, look! The not last resort. They're threatening the hell. Because these people have already made their decision. These people have already made their choice. You're loving they're going to live their life God. God. You're sending they, us to hell. They made this choice, not God. So don't come out it's not a choice what you don't believe. Look, I was not I, I'd say to try to believe in Bigfoot, but he I actually went to probably a does. School and academy, and then I was homeschooled. I excelled in English, math, and science. I know what I'm talking about. I did my own research. Appeal to authority. And I bet your research involves going to creationist websites that don't actually teach you the proper theory of evolution. Yes. Or all the evidence for it. That he's going to come back one day and he's going to take his people. Amen. Pro Constitution. So, I invite you to sit back and watch this video series. I'm going to prove that dinosaurs did not die off millions of years ago, that Birds. you are being taught lies, evolution never happened, and dinosaurs are still alive today. Watch Based on the clips series, that you showed earlier, you're talking about pots and pot pottery and cave drawings? Uh, no. Uh, fed you through years and years of BS and just straight out lies.
Yeah. I would suggest you actually to look into what's actually eyes. talked True. about in evolution, Why as opposed to it's not just dinosaurs. You got going to your creationist humans. websites. You got uh, the Nephilim, which is the giant skeletons. You got, uh, <laughs> okay, he's uh, gone back to being funny again. The Nephilim. You can go on and on about all the stuff that we find in the discoveries that you're not told about. Oh, the National Ge Geographic and History Channel is millions of years ago. And millions oh, of yeah, years National years ago, and Geographic, of which is a pop site. You can trust some of the stuff in there, but it, it's pop site. It's not peer reviewed in History Channel. Oh, boy, the History that. Channel. You have to believe evolution happened. The definition of science is something you can't observe. Link to CGP Gray's video on History years. Channel here. You have to test it. Well, you can't test it. Takes millions of years, and you have to demonstrate. Yes, we can you test can't it. Can't demonstrate it because it takes millions of years. Well, you say sure we can. Oh, we see evolution. Uh, these bacteria that mutate, blah 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 blah, or the the things go DNA, I mean, the fossil record, comparative anatomy. Mean anything to you? I have an answer for every every piece of argument. You evolution's been thrown my way. I have an answer. No, you don't. My answer. Will destroy your religion. Okay? Atheism is not the religion, it is the antithesis of religion. The definition. Okay, I'm Antigen. referring Sorry. to micro evolution. You're referring to macro evolution. Macro evolution is one animal changing into a complete. Micro evolution. Or sorry, macroevolution is simply micro evolution compiled happen. over time. It doesn't happen. That's it. Uh, once again, I invite you to watch part two. In part two, I will prove to you uh, that the dinosaurs did not die off millions of years ago. And again, do I have to keep saying words. birds? Do some of your own research. Do a Google search. Do a YouTube search. <laughs> um, but don't don't be biased and show favoritism and your own opinions and what you believe. Be open minded. If you're an evolutionist, when you're, you're a subscriber the, uh, to my video, uh, uh, no, I've right gone over now, the open mind watch thing already. Watch the open mind and look at the facts. Do not, do not ignore the facts because they, they do not line up with what you believe. You're the one who is ignoring the facts the because they because do, don't line up with what you believe. You said so. You need to conform your reality to the facts instead of conforming the facts to your your reality. That's what you're doing. You said so earlier. The Bible, what the Bible says is true, and you're fitting everything to fit the Bible. Just because you refuse to give up the idea that you've lived a lie. Everything you believe is a lie. It's all a lie. If you go if you were raised in the school system, they've already got you by the balls. If you believe got you by the balls, man. Or if you believe even half of what the media tells you, I think or the Bible's the clamped around your balls. I, I'm sorry, Christians are watching this, but graphic, the History Channel, Discovery Channel. Why? Because the Discovery Channel isn't on that slippery tools, slope down too. That's I mean, this is about. please take the time, watch my videos. They haven't gone in complete to... depravity, but still, <sighs> I'm not watching video number two. That was bad enough. Peace. Stay shiny.